In this lesson, we'll take a look at the neuron models. So there are two neuron models that you'll be seeing on your exam. This one is referred to as the white neuron. And then if I flip down, you'll see this one is the yellow neuron. So we're going to divide the neuron into three parts. This main part right here is known as the cell body. You can also call it the soma, either or. Within the cell body or the soma, we have all the organelles that are going to keep the neuron alive. So here we could see the nucleus. Within there, you could see the nucleoli. Now, they're not showing a lot of detail. But these blue structures right here, these are the ribosomes that cluster up with the rough endoplasmic reticulum. And we refer to them in the neuron as the Nissl bodies. Again, look how it's spelled, N-I-S-S-L. That's the correct spelling. Also within the soma or the cell body on this neuron, you can see these black lines right here. This is just representing the cytoskeleton. Now this would actually spread throughout the entire soma. The model company is not showing it that way, but here they're showing you the uh, cytoskeleton, which is made up of neurofibrils. Okay, so that's the first part of the neuron here. Now, on this model, these extensions here, not the orange one, but these extensions here are the dendrites. So we can see all of these. These are going to be the dendrites. Think of them as the receiving portion of the neuron. Okay, so soma, or the cell body, the dendrites are the second part. Now the third part is going to be the axon. So extending down, um, usually the longest part of the neuron is going to be the axon. So here it's here, and then it would continue here. We actually took this piece off. We could attach it here, and it would be one long neuron. Now, the first part you want to find on the neuron is going to be the axon hillock. Right? This is this kind of conical uh, area here where the axon joins the cell body. And then just distal to it, is the initial segment. This is the first portion of the neuron where a nerve impulse is going to take place. Continuing on the, the, the um, axon, so here I try to put my arrow right on the membrane. This would be known as the axolemma. That's the cell membrane of the axon. <clears throat> here they've cut the um, the cell membrane away so we could look into the cytoplasm of the axon. This we're going to refer to as the axoplasm right here. And you can see there's different organelles that extend into the axon also. Now this neuron here is a myelinated neuron. This cell, all of this here, is a cell that attaches to the axon and then wraps around the axon over and over again, uh, up to a hundred times. And you can see all these lines represent the revolutions of the um, Schwann cell as it wraps around the axon. All right, so that's the name of the, uh, the cell. It's a little bit of an outdated name. The newer name is the neurolemocyte, but we're going to go with the Schwann cell. Now this Schwann cell, um, will, as I said, wraps around the axon. And here's another Schwann cell. Notice there's a little squiggly line right there. You can see it on this side. Um, that represents a gap between the two Schwann cells. That is known as the node of Ranvier, right? the node of Ranvier. These Schwann cells, as they cover the entire axon, form something known as the myelin sheath. So that's another term that we use to represent a, um, an axon that has myelin on it, right? and that's formed by the Schwann cells. Now, the very end of the axon uh, is going to have a bunch of branches. Now, on our model here, they don't show the branches at the bottom. It's actually just like a blunt end. What the model company has done is this. They're showing the branching of the axon, but here from other neurons. This is a neuron that's synapsing with 
our neuron uh, over here with this dendrite. So this would be the telodendria, the branching. And at the end of the telodendria, this little swollen part here kind of looks like a Hershey's kiss. This is the axon terminal. This is where the uh, neurotransmitters are stored. Okay, so this would be the telodendria and the axon terminal. But again, realize not of this neuron here. These are other neurons coming down and synapsing with our neuron. On the yellow neuron safe structures, so you can see here the soma, and they're showing you the nucleus with the nucleolus there. You can see all these yellow extensions are the dendrites. Right. We can see really well here, I actually like this a little bit better than the other, other neurons, all of these brown lines going through the, um, through the cell body, actually I have it blown up over here, all of these brown lines going through the cell body, these are the cytoskeleton or the neurofibrils. Again, in that other neuron, they were only showing the black lines uh, in, in a small area. Right? So this is a little better for that. This is also showing the nissel bodies. It's a little bit harder to see. Somebody actually outlined one here. All of these round areas here represent the nissel bodies. Again, that's the ribosomes clustered into little groups with the rough endoplasmic reticulum. And it's just a sign that the, um, the neuron is producing proteins. The axon. This right here would be the axon hillock and then just distal to it, the initial segment. And here's the axoplasm here. Again, the Schwann cell. Hey, these are actual cells, so they have their own nucleus. And then again, Schwann cell here above, Schwann cell here below. The gap right in between is the node of Ranvier. Again, kind of an outdated term. You could just use the word node. Uh, that would be okay. And then here you can see the axolemma is the cell membrane. Same thing, this neuron here doesn't show the telodendria at the end, right? all of the branching. So th this model company did the same thing. They um, are showing here the axon terminal synapsing with our yellow neuron. These are, again, uh, axon terminals from other neurons, right? They're not, they're not part of this neuron. They're synapsing with uh, this yellow neuron. So the last thing I want to show you on uh, this slide here is going to be um, the synapses, the different locations. When the axon of one neuron synapses with the soma of another neuron, that synapse is called an axosomatic synapse. When the axon of another neuron, over here this orange neuron, synapses with the dendrite, that would be an axodendritic synapse. And then here, the axon of one neuron synapsing with the axon of our neuron would be an axoaxonic. So on the exam, you want to make sure you um, read the question carefully. Uh, as an example, if I were to ask you, identify this, sorry, if I was going to ask you, identify this structure here, this would be a telodendria. If I said identify the structure here, this is an uh, axon terminal. But if I said to you, identify the synapse right there, right, that synapse would be axodendritic. Okay, so please read the careful question. Uh, read the questions carefully. On the yellow neuron, so again, the axon terminal here, synapsing with the soma. So this would be an axosomatic synapse. Here, the axon terminal synapsing with the dendrite axodendritic. Notice on this model, they don't have an axoaxonic, right? So that wouldn't be there. Finally, the last structure on both the yellow and the white neuron is some connective tissue. So surrounding each axon, including the Schwann cell, is connective tissue known as the endoneurium. So Right at the bottom, you see a little piece of the endoneurium still left intact right there. That's going to normally would cover the entire, the entire structure, right? but they've cut it away so that we can see all these structures here. So there's a little piece left here. And then on the yellow neuron, same thing, this little section down here, that gray, that's going to be the um, endoneurium. Right? And that's our two models that are the neuron models.